Hello, Carney Peeps. It's Fan Slime Films. In case you didn't know, on this day, 10 years ago, I created my channel. That's right. It has been 10 long years since I uploaded my first video in 2009. So, first of all, I want to thank all of you. All of these videos and all of the work that I do would mean nothing if you guys didn't watch them. You guys keep me motivated to make videos. All of your wonderful supportive comments have carried me from my first video back in 2009 all the way to this one. And I know for certain that I would not have been able to do any of this without you guys. My favorite part is seeing just how much you guys love these stories and characters in the same way that I do. You guys may not know it, but that means the absolute world to me. So, for this occasion, I wanted to do something a little bit different. 10 years is a very long time to be on LPS Tube, and it's sort of impossible to be on YouTube for this long and not learn a thing or two. So today, I thought I would share my five tips for being an LPS Tuber. So, number one, do the best with what you have. Guys, I cannot stress this enough. You do not need a fancy camera, you do not need the most expensive editing software, and you do not need every LPS accessory or expensive LPS in order to make a good video. If you look at some of the most popular LPS videos here on LPS Tube, like the very first ones made by Sophie GTV, all those videos were not very high quality. They had mistakes in the editing, and the sets and costumes on the LPS were very simple, and they were still the most popular videos at the time. If all you have is your phone and iMovie and your favorite LPS, you can still make incredible videos. I mean, I still use iMovie 11 for crying out loud. I've actually heard some LPS tubers say that they wish that they could use whatever LPS they wanted in videos, but they felt like they had to use one of the main five pets because they thought that if they didn't use them, people wouldn't want to watch their video. And it really makes me sad that people believe that because there are so many adorable kinds of LPS that we never get to see because well, no one ever uses them. Do the best with what you have. And if in the future you're able to buy a better camera or more LPS accessories, then great! But just know that you don't need those things in order to make videos. Number two, quality over quantity. Unfortunately, YouTube has made it pretty hard to make revenue on videos these days, and it seems like more and more LPS tubers try to do daily uploads in order to keep up. But making videos takes a long time, and the chances are if you're trying to upload one every day, you're going to have to sacrifice the quality of your videos in order to get them up on time. I know that this is something that I've struggled with a lot. Because of my other job, I can never really seem to commit to a consistent uploading schedule. And the pressure and stress that it was creating just really wasn't helping me at all. I think that it's more important to do your very best and put 100% effort into every video you make than to upload a video every single day. You'll be much more proud of your work and others will probably enjoy your videos more. Number three. Make the kinds of stories that you want to see. There's a reason why I make mostly fantasy series about dragons and fairies, and it's because those are the kinds of stories that I love to watch. If you like making comedy skits, then make them. If you like making spooky videos, then make them. Don't make a video because you think it's what people want to see or because you hope that it'll be popular. This is your channel and your videos, so make the kinds of videos that you enjoy making. And that one kind of ties nicely into my number four tip, which is have fun. This is actually something my amazing friend LPS Hannah taught me while we were together at LPSCon. If you are not having fun making the videos that you're making, then don't make them. The reason for making these videos in the first place is for you to have fun and enjoy yourself, right? So if you're not having fun, then 
What's the point? I was talking to Hannah before LPSCon about how I would have to continue one of my series and how I wasn't looking forward to working on it. The first three episodes of that series had just been very tedious to make and I just didn't have a good time making it. But I felt like I had to continue making it because, well, first off, I said I was going to. But also, I felt like I had to please you guys. But Hannah told me if I wasn't having fun making the videos I was making, then I shouldn't be making them. And honestly, that was incredibly wise advice that I think everybody should know. Which brings me to my last tip. Are you ready? I'm gonna borrow from Kung Fu Panda here, which happens to be my favorite movie, so you know, it works. Number five. There is no secret ingredient. In the end, the truth is there is no secret ingredient to making good videos. But if you're having fun making them and you believe that the stories and ideas you're sharing are special, they will be. Even if they don't get a million views or even if you don't get a lot of comments or likes, those videos will still be special because they're special to you. The reason why I enjoy LPS Tube so much is because it gives me an opportunity to bring all of the stories that I write to life. And even though a lot of my videos aren't very popular, they are still so special to me because... Because they are my precious babies and I would die for them. No, but seriously, I hope that these tips have helped you. And I hope that all of you guys have a tremendous amount of fun making videos here on LPS Tube. I know that I have. And once again, thank you all so much for watching my videos. I hope I get to spend another great 10 years with you guys. Wait, in 10 years I'll be 32 years old. Oh gee, let's not think about that. But I'll see you in the next video. Bye!